guys, welcome back to the fourth revolution, right? It's your stocks for your portfolio of the future. We've had an absolute boom in meme stocks and AMC specifically. The stock is up nearly 200% in just a matter of five days of trading. It hit an all time high today, reaching levels of above $36 a share, which is unbelievable considering it was trading at $12 uh, just five days ago. And this is all being driven by this renewed sense of, uh, of vengeance from this, this uh, Wall Street bets, the Reddit message board that moves markets. And you can really see this stock just has no end to its rally. And people are, uh, you know, are, are jumping into the stock under the preconceived notion that they're, they're hitting some kind of short squeeze, but that's, that's just not what's happening. I mean, you see it on on uh, the Wall Street Bets message board that they're just saying, oh, we've got these hedge funds. But in reality, they're just perpetuating um, their own upside here with the short-term call options that are forcing a gamma squeeze with the market makers they're selling it to. So what happens is, is that these guys call or buy these call options from market makers. Typically, that's 90% or not, probably over 90% of where you're buying your calls from, especially in something that's highly traded like this. Um, and they buy them and they have to hedge themselves based off the de delta. And the delta goes up, uh, the faster the stock goes up, and that's what gamma is, the speed at which delta moves. Um, and that's what we call a gamma squeeze because this gamma is spiking as the stock is spiking, and especially with these short-term call options. So they, the, these market makers have to jump in and buy loads of AMC stock um, just to cover their hedges in these in these positions, um, and that's what's driving the stock up perpetually. And it's almost like a self fulfilling prophecy that just continues to fulfill itself uh, in the last five days. And it's it's a wonder why this is happening. People are trying to figure out what's driving this new resurgence in meme stocks, and it really comes down to what happened with uh, GameStop earlier this week. They announced that they'd be launching an NFT platform. You know. Ryan Cohen has been uh, a real leader in this business since the beginning of the year. Um, as an active investor, he took over as chairman of the company as it's trying to transition it into an e-commerce powerhouse. You know, GameStop has kind of been an obsolescent brick and mortar retailer for some time, um, but Ryan Cohen is really trying to transition it. But so they're not buying GameStop as much as they're buying AMC because of the price of GameStop. GameStop's trading at two hundred and forty-five dollars a share today. Um, and that's just too expensive to buy these options on. So they're looking at AMC was trading at less than $20 just two days ago, over $30 today, and they just keep buying. Um, so let's dive into the charts and see what's really happening here. So this is AMC on the TradingView platform, and you can see the stock has really capitulated since its you know 2017, 2015 highs, and it surpassed it today off this crazy volume. You can see the volume levels down here. And we've just seen an unbelievable, unprecedented amount of volume in the last, you know, five days of trading, and it keeps going up and up. And this is driven by this bandwagon effect that we're seeing on Wall Street bets and this new cohort of traders that are jumping into this stock um, with seemingly no end. And we're up another 14% today. We were up as high as $36, trading down at $30 right now. It's just an unbelievable amount of volatility. I would not touch this thing personally, but it's an interesting case study to see the power of social media in this democratized stock market that we have today. Um, and it's it's just it's crazy how much market movement that this herd mentality can have. This is Zach's Research Systems, um, and this is AMC's income statement on that ZRS platform. And you can see the company has been making money since 2017, um, and this is obviously before the pandemic even had its impact. And it's just it's reiterating the fact that this is a dying brick and mortar business, and it's it's going to take a lot for it to get out of this slump. I mean, people aren't going to the theaters anymore; they're just streaming from their homes. And AMC is going to have to do a lot of systemic changes in order to uh, to turn this company into a profitable company again. And you can see just on their balance sheet that they've just been loading up on debt, and that's just because they're unable to sustain their operations um, with their current cash flows. And you can see they're their uh, common equity or their you know shareholders value actually went negative over the last two years. But Adam Aaron, the CEO of the company, is leaning hard into this retail trading community on Wall Street bets, and he because he knows he knows that he can sell shares to this this cohort at uh, at these ridiculous levels, and he's going to make money off. And you can see it just in Q1, um, the company was able to raise an enormous amount of money and pay off some of its debts with this. Uh, 
with this, you know, secondary equity offering. And he said he was going to put as much as uh, 500 million new shares out there, which would double the amount of shares outstanding. Um, and I can only imagine he is selling more today than ever before with these shares hitting a new all time high. So the catalyst of this resurgence in meme stocks seem to be coming from this website, nft.gamestop.com. And it's talking about how they'll be building out an NFT platform on Ethereum's, uh, on Ethereum's blockchain. And they're looking for designers, gamers, engineers, and marketers, as you can see here. Um, and this kind of, you know, reinvigorated people's idea of GameStop. They saw GameStop was trading at over $240 a share, so it's a little bit too expensive. They're like, let's see, what are the other meme stocks that were highly shorted back in January? Um, can we pump pump and dump again? I, I don't want to use that word to uh, – to you know, cavalierly, but that's exactly what they're doing. And you saw it with the AMC, and you see it with other stocks too. You can see it with costs on this is costs on trading view, and it continues to drive higher and higher. Obviously, not to the levels that we saw at the end of January, but we're still seeing that broader meme stock rally. Um, and it's just it's really interesting to see that, like I said, this level of market movement can be driven by a social media platform like Wall Street Bets. So guys, just I would stay away from these meme stocks, whether it be Cost Express, GameStop, or AMC. AMC specifically, AMC is really concerning to me. And this leveraged impact that we've had from all these short-term call options is making this stock just way too overextended and looking quite toppy. Especially when I looked at the options chain last night, we had millions of contracts trading hands for options that are expiring today. And these people are buying options that are just unbelievably out of the money. And they're going to lose. And like I said, you don't want to you don't want to be the one holding the bag at the top. You don't want to be the one with diamond hands because eventually, especially with short term call options, you're going to lose it all. So just be careful out there, guys. And if you are in any of these stocks, I would consider selling out and de-risking your uh, your leverage here. So don't forget to check out Zax.com slash promo. Where we have Tracy Reinick's Insider Trader, where you can get the insights of these insiders and move when they move. Thanks for watching, guys. Look forward to speaking to you guys next time.